What's up Guardians, Profane here. Thanks for checking out the video. Today I'll be going over an updated guide on how to easily acquire the Wither Horde Exotic Catalyst. While the Wither Horde and its Catalyst has been around for some time now, there continues to be a heavy influx of new Light Guardians joining the community that have yet to know the true power of the Wither Horde Grenade Launcher. And with this catalyst being considered one of the most difficult catalysts to unlock, I've put together an easy guide for new light guardians and returning guardians to quickly and easily get the Wither Horde and its catalyst. As always, if you enjoyed today's video and find it helpful, then please be sure to help support the channel below by hitting that like button along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated. Now first off, for those who haven't purchased the Wither Horde yet, it can be found from the exotic kiosk in the tower. If you find yourself wondering if the exotic cipher, the 125,000 glimmer, the 200 helium filaments, and the ascendant shard is all worth it to pick up this exotic grenade launcher, well the answer is yes, 100% unequivocally yes. The Wither Horde has long been one of the best exotics in the game. Its ability to deal out massive damage over time in such a large area has found the Wither Horde being one of the go-to weapons for many raids, dungeons, and other in-game activities within Destiny. And with its catalyst providing the Wither Horde with auto-reloading features, the cost is well worth it to get this exotic grenade launcher, but be warned, the journey to acquire its catalyst can be cumbersome, time consuming, and at times even infuriating. But I assure you, the efforts are well worth it in the end. With that being said, once you've purchased the Wither Horde, you'll have immediate access to its catalyst, which is a quest called the bank job. This is provided by Banshee in the tower. The first step in this quest will have you collect 50 vault keys. Vault keys are obtained at random from enemies defeated with kinetic and special grenade launchers. Heavy grenade launchers are not going to do it. While this isn't a guaranteed one for one drop rate, you shouldn't have to invest much time on the step. You can simply hit up the Altar of Sorrows, use the Wither Horde, and unload on the Waves of Hive, and within minutes you'll have this step complete. It's not necessary to use the Wither Horde for this step, but it will give you an opportunity to get accustomed to its weird aiming and lobbing, along with its unique bounce mechanics. The next step of the Bank Job quest will likely be the most stressful for you to complete, and is likely where some of you might be stuck at. This step requires you to defeat 100 Guardians. This can be done through any Crucible playlist activity and in Gambit through Invader kills. You also have to get 200 multi-kills with a grenade launcher and obtain 300 Filthy Lucre, or Lucre. I'm not quite sure the pronunciation of that one. Now, first off, Filthy Lucre, it just sounds filthy, are obtained through completing playlist activities. The more difficult the activity, the more progress earned, making trials matches and nightfalls the most lucrative activities to farm for this. For most guardians, nightfalls will be the best means as you can easily speedrun through many of the mid-level nightfalls within just a couple of minutes. The 200 multi-kills are not exclusive to guardians, so if you're using Weather Horde or another grenade launcher while completing nightfalls, you're surely going to complete the 200 multi-kills in the process. The important thing here is that you need the grenade launchers to provide the final blow. You won't get progress on this or any other segment of this step for assisted kills with grenade launchers. This means you need to go into your gunfight situations with finishing blows being made with your grenade launcher, not the other equipped weapons. This becomes most impactful in PvP matches, as many guardians are prone to using their primary weapons as the one to make the killing blows. 
when it's actually the grenade launcher that you're going to need to make the final blow here. And it's because of this that in a lot of situations, the Wither Horde will not be the ideal grenade launcher to defeat a hundred guardians with. At this point in Destiny, most guardians have learned to steer clear of Wither Horde blights. With that being said, there are two grenade launchers that I highly encourage using to have far more success at getting those 100 grenade launcher guardian kills. First up, the Dead Messenger. This exotic grenade launcher is rewarded through the Vox Obscura mission and is by far the strongest grenade launcher currently in the sandbox. It fires a fan of three energy waves that deal out 135 damage each with higher damage being applied on direct hits. While you're still limited to two shots with the Dead Messenger, it can easily fit into any playstyle, especially if you add in the appropriate mods for scavengers. If you'd like to sit back with a scout or pulse, it can make for a great defense weapon against those shotgunners and other rushers. If you'd like to play more up pace with an SMG or sidearm, it's equally as effective, but becomes even more crucial that you let the dead messenger deal the final blows to get progress. The second grenade launcher that I encourage you to use is the Fighting Lion Exotic Grenade Launcher. And the biggest reason is that the Fighting Lion's ammo is treated as primary weapon, meaning that in PvP, you have unlimited ammo for the Fighting Lion. With that being said, the Fighting Lion is a unique grenade launcher. It has a tricky bounce mechanic, but more importantly, it has a timed detonation to where the grenade does not explode until you release the fire trigger. This means you can't use the Fighting Lion like any other grenade launcher. Since you get bonus damage on direct hits, you'll want to work on your timing with releasing the trigger at the right moment. This also gives you the ability to fire off a grenade and leave the trigger held to create a short temporary trap for your enemy who might be coming around a corner. You can't hold the charge indefinitely, but you can hold it for a couple of seconds. The Fighting Lion comes with some additional benefits. You receive increased reload speed when dealing damage with the Fighting Lion and rapid final blows have a chance to refill the magazine entirely. To take that a step further, when paired up with a Void 3.0 build that features the Echo of Domineering, you get automatic reloads after suppressing a target. Secondly, Warlocks utilizing the Reign of Fire exotics will have the ability to auto-reload the Fighting Lion as well, making it even more beneficial to use to get these 100 Guardian kills. And that's not even mentioning the Fighting Lion's catalyst called Chimera. Now, when it comes to the best activities to run through, you'll find Momentum Control to be a great activity since damage dealt will be increased. Same can be said for Mayhem. Otherwise, Control and Iron Banner will make for optimal activities as you'll encounter more opponents grouped up together with a higher chance of snagging a few kills. And once you have finished the 100 Guardian kills, the 200 multi kills, and the 300 filthy Lucre, you'll simply need to head back to Banshee, where you will complete the bank job quest and unlock the catalyst for the Wither Horde. Now, you won't be completely done at this point though, as you will now have to defeat 400 enemies with the Wither Horde to masterwork its catalyst, unlocking the perk called Silent Alarm which increases the handling of Wither Horde and gives it that auto reloading. Since you have to use the Wither Horde for this process, I would suggest hitting up Altar of Sorrows or the Shuro Chi encounter of the Last Wish Raid. Both should provide you with a quick route to those 400 kills. And with that, that wraps up everything you need to know about getting the Wither Horde and its catalyst for yourself easily and quickly. I wish you all the best of luck in unlocking the catalyst for yourself. With a revised raid coming up in Season 18, it will be a perfect time to unlock this catalyst as it will surely come in handy for either Wrath of the Machine or King's Fall. 
If you continue having issues with the Wither Horde Catalyst and its quest, then be sure to let me know in the comments below. If you've got any additional tips and tricks for your fellow Guardians, be sure to let us know those as well in the comments. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and found it helpful. If so, then please be sure to hit that like button below, along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated and really do help support the channel. If you're in need of a new home for your guardian or a place to get help for those difficult activities, be sure to check out the Discord link in the description below where you can join one of the greatest communities in all of Destiny. And until next time, guardians, this has been Profane wishing you all some happy hunting.